What we're doing here today is honoring the history, heritage, and the alumni of the uh, Douglas School graduates, which started in the 1880s and continues to this day with some wonderful tales of uh, uh, teachers, activities, things that uh, circled around the, the black community that uh, was the population for Douglas School. The teachers at Douglas and my mother, who was a teacher there for a while, uh, were was very were very kind and uh, wanted us to succeed in life, and I think that they were successful in reaching so many of us. We didn't have the facilities that other schools had, but we were able to overcome. And I believe that you can achieve if you want to. The marker itself has been in the in the. Uh the brew for quite some time, and it was just a question of getting the, uh, the verbiage down, uh, giving it its due respect with regards to the, the heritage of the particular subject matter, but it was well worthwhile long overdue. So when we finally got it done and we got it placed with the help of the, uh, the property owner, Ed Soto. Nothing is going to happen to the first Douglas School. I will make sure of that. It's still there. It's standing and it's solid. It is with great honor that uh, we're going to invite you to the site to unveil the marker, at which time we invite you to have some lemonade and cookies there. It's in the street, but you know what? You guys played in the street anyway. <laughs> right? Well, the building itself uh, was occupied over 20 years by Douglas School. The uh, community at that time was very segregated. So this was the first school that the kids could go to from grade school to high school. And they could participate in all kinds of events, uh, whether it's band, whether it's music, whether it's academics. Uh, the teachers there were par excellence. They uh, had a reputation for demanding, uh, absolutely demanding the best out of every student. You couldn't slouch when you went to Douglas School. This is Bernie Sargent for YouTube channel El Paso History TV.